Hey guys, this is Gad Mayer from Bed and Apple TV. And guess what? We're back here at Liberty City and Michelle um, has the coolest vibe. I like her vibe. You have awesome eyes, cool shirt, the hair was flowing. I was like, that looks like someone I would hang out with. Um, I like your artwork. Um, I do want to talk about your artwork, but I also like people to get to know the artists and learn, you know, learn as much as they possibly can. Uh, one, I need to know, what was your favorite anime to draw? Um, my favorite anime currently I like to draw is Tokyo Ghoul. Really? Okay, she's, you already got your answers prepared. Now I'm just going to have to come up with some trick questions now. Um, now, just out of curiosity, how long have you been uh, doing art and what kind of art did you start with and then led you into doing like manga and... Um, so when I was growing up, uh, my first anime actually was Inuyasha. I was 11 <laughs> and it came on TV and I was like, that is the coolest thing I ever seen. And I was like instantly hooked. So I started mimicking her art style and I just never left. So really? yep. Wow, okay, and I can I can tell you I love that. Um, I was very heartbroken that I just couldn't yell at people like Kagome did. Uh -huh. <laughs> just like, sit, and just like, mm, yes. <laughs> um, okay, so now the other question I have to ask you, it's gonna sound very silly, but you told me earlier that you speak Japanese fluently. Oh my God, hajime mashite. Doju roshiku. Um now I want to hear your best uh, Japanese anime phrase in Japanese. Anything. You can pick anything. You can even yell something from Bleach. I don't care what it is. I just want to hear something super fun. And she's turning red just like they do in the animes. I was ready for that. She was like, I got answers for her. I know what. I know what my favorite anime is. You were not prepared for that. I need to hear your best impression. <laughs> hmm, okay. I like how my mind just goes blank. Everyone's mind goes blank. They're just like, oh god, I don't even remember what I liked. <laughs> oh my god, you know there's voiceover actors around the corner, right? I think you should just go right over there. <laughs> so, um, have you gone to Japan? Uh, yes, I actually go back there every March um, for a business trip along with our CEO. <laughs> Do, are they hiring? Because I miss Japan. I've only been out there once and I, I heavily miss it. Um, I don't know what he has planned so far, but I mean, you're more than welcome to him. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> so what are your favorite cities out there? Because my I fell in love with Nada. That was the city like I fell in love with the most. Yeah. Um, I gotta say, I like Tokyo. Um, I grew up in like the super countryside of Japan, so like, every time I go to Tokyo, it's just like, yeah, it's a big city. <laughs> yeah, tell me more about that. Um, so I grew up in Yamaguchi, which is like the mainland, like the very corner of mainland, so it's like a little like fishing village. <laughs> yes, but you guys do awesome, have a very awesome food, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, read that. Yeah. So um, what was it like, um, I guess in comparison, when you see, you come over here and you work here and then you kind of have a chance to get to go home also as well? I don't know, like, recent years it's just, I feel like nothing's really different. Like everybody's like, what's the difference? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> it's just the culture and language, everything else is the same. <laughs> so I do have to ask you this. Now when you see these um, like new renditions of them, taking animes and making them into live actions like Ghost in the Shell and then of course we had the Bleach one that was I think was on Netflix which wasn't too bad um, what's your opinion on it like do you feel like they're doing it correctly or do you feel like for some of them they're just like heavily straying I'm not gonna say my opinion but some of my friends know how I feel so um so far it has gotten better um, uh, the Hollywood version eh, like I, I, I thought Bleach was okay um, yeah, but recent like actual adaptations in Japan, like Rodoni Kenshin and stuff, I feel like they've done great. Um, I know they changed the storyline a little, but, but yeah, um, recent years it's gotten a lot better. Um, so I'm looking forward for them to actually like nailing it. <laughs> okay, so what is the anime uh, that you would like to see Hollywood do correctly? Correctly or the anime you hope that they don't do because you're afraid they won't do it correctly? <laughs> if anything, I would like to see Berserk in live action, if they could manage to do that. <laughs> okay. okay, Hollywood, I hope you guys are listening. 
And if you need any voice actors, <clears throat> Michelle's quite, no, <laughs> she got real shy. We're like, no, I think you sound super awesome. I think, um, oh my God. So anyway, let's, let's get back to, to your artwork. Um, uh, you obviously come to conventions frequently and you sell your artwork. Um, what other conventions do you get the chance to go to? Cause you said you work with the, the sister company that kind of like puts all this stuff together. Um, so I'm more Midwest oriented. So like Chicago, Minneapolis, where else do we go? Where Did anyone catch that? Like she was like, I can't be a voice actor. And then she was like, Minneapolis. And then like a minute ago, she's like, Konnichiwa. Like, I think, I think I'm proving my point, but go on, go on. Yeah, but usually around there, um, we're very Chicago based. Um, so there's two conventions in Chicago and then two in Minneapolis and like little ones and like small towns. <laughs> So uh, I know you said before you used to do like uh, stuff for like online magazines. So have you ever considered like putting together like your own manga, or you signed up with anyone to actually draw out their mangas? Um, so my dream has always been like publishing in Japan. Um, it's just I never got a chance <laughs> to bring my stuff over there. Um, I was kind of kicked out of the country by my mom, so like, <laughs> I, well, um, hopefully um, next year I can put something together and just go to the publisher and be like, hey, take me. <laughs> oh my god, no, totally go for it. And even show them this interview, be like, listen, people want me, so you need to just sign me on board. Um, what kind of ideas do you like to do? Like, a poster up there, the monkey way, that's my original comic. I have like the first chapter on Patreon and Twitter and stuff, so. Okay, can... now we're getting to the good stuff. Tell me more about this. So I want people on your Patreon and getting this done. Thank you. Um, uh, it's loosely based on uh, the journey of the West, which is like the legend of the Monkey King. Yep. And it's just like, it's kind of based on the idea of what if like all the religion like share the same knowledge so even though they're like different religions the knowledge itself is just this one thing we call uh, well they call it the apple of eden and it just kind of gets passed around with like christianity and buddhism and, and it's just um these two boys uh they are like the reincarnation of the monkey king and they get to accompany this christian priest along with the apple of eden um, they're gonna return it to the Buddhism uh, temple, and it's like the journey of that. Oh my god, that sounds awesome. Two, I also think you're onto something, because I completely agree. I, I really do feel like everyone has a piece of the pie, and they just swear that their pie is just the best. Yep. It's, it's all the same pie. Uh, <laughs> um, that's super cool. And where can people find that Patreon? Because we need to fund this, we need to get this going. Okay. Um, Huh. I haven't like logged into my Patreon for a very long time. There's no judgments here. I, I depend on my key uh, keychain on my iPhone to like remember passwords. It's like I don't remember what it is. Um, but uh, you can look me up under uh, Watagashi710, and it should pop right up. Okay, I will write that out for those of you who struggle because you guys were like, "What was that?" Don't worry, I will gladly write it out for you guys and Roma and Jade. You guys will be fine. Um, where can people come find your artwork? Instagram, Twitter. I mean. Um, pretty much, yeah, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, um, it's all the same handle name, yep. Watagashi 10, right? 710. Yep. 7, Is that your birthday? Yes. Oh, I knew I liked you because you're Cancer. I'm a Scorpio. Yep. Scorpios and Cancers get along together. <laughs> She's super awesome. You guys have to come check her out. Go on her Instagram, check out the Patreon because I do want to see that book and I definitely want to see this girl published in Japan. I will personally go to Nada myself in Tokyo and be like, listen guys, Trust me. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Michelle. You're super awesome. Uh, and definitely keep up the good work. And I definitely want to stay in touch with you because this, I'm loving this and I love your ideas. Thank you very much. <laughs> that means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.